Uh, well, first off, congrats on making the, the championship for your third consecutive year in doing so. You've already got one championship under your belt, but just knowing that you're going to Phoenix, getting a chance to compete again, what does that mean to you? Yeah, just excited for the opportunity. It's obviously great to great to be a great to be a part of the show still, and and uh, it's a busy week, but better than it not being a busy week. So yeah, looking forward to getting out there and getting uh, kind of getting all this stuff done and and getting on track and focusing on the things that are going to write the story instead of all the talking that doesn't really matter right now uh, and then obviously going back to sunday you know only what joey logano was the only driver that knew he was for sure going to the championship for so just what was your mindset and, and what you needed to go to martinsville and accomplish to get to where you are today yeah just uh just trying to perform it at a high level and I felt like we did that for a large majority of the day not so much there at the end which you know it was um it was super frustrating I was I was more mad about that than than I was uh happy about about squeaking through there at the end but you know just um yeah I felt like we were really solid we we didn't have anything for the 11 or the 20 I felt like they were they were the best two cars uh, throughout the day, you know, Denny was certainly really good there early, and then and then uh, you know Bell got got better uh, throughout the day, and I felt like he was right there with the eleven, you know, towards the end, and and then we we faded uh, unfortunately. So yeah, I was was bum bum with that, but glad uh, you know glad we were, we could squeak through. It wasn't necessarily pretty, but um, doesn't really doesn't really matter at this point. So just uh, yeah, try to have a good week of prep and, and go out and try to put it all together for, um, for one race in, uh, in Phoenix. Uh, but for you going back to winning your first championship, obviously you've had plenty of time to reflect on that now, but when you look back at, at that race and, and those memories, what does that all mean to you? Yeah. I mean, a lot, uh, I mean, obviously it's the, the peak of my career for sure thus far. And, and you hope that you can add, hope you can add to that. Uh, but that first one's always, always special and and whether it's the first one or the only one or or whatever uh it, it's always going to be always going to hold a special place with you and and the people around you that help help get you there and you know it was a it was a different season for sure the road to how we were able to be a part of the championship four was different i feel like every year has been different um kind of a different story or so it feels at least uh, of how we were able to go out there and, and be a part of the be a part of the show but nonetheless uh, a part of it and that's really all that all that matters now hadn't been a very pretty nine weeks for us at all um, you know I'll be the first one to admit that but it's uh, at this point it's irrelevant right I mean it, it kind of comes down it does come down to one week and you're not racing for stage points or anything just uh, just hope you can outrun the other three guys and and if you do that and the rest of it, the rest of these nine weeks really don't matter. And, and fortunately for us, we had a big enough cushion to help guide us through these playoffs and, and uh, glad, glad we did. And just kind of looking back, obviously heading into this season, the, the big topic was next gen car and then the debut of all of that, you had a successful season, but just how would you rank next gen and what it's done for the sport? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, some things good, some things bad. You know, I, I don't love uh, some areas of it, but not my decision to make. You know, at the end of the day, I'm I'm um, on the performance side and trying to, you know, trying to make sure I maximize things behind the wheel and doing the things that I need to do, uh, driving, giving the right information and all those things to to have good results. I mean, that, that's what that's what my my job uh, ends up coming down to is how whether you have the results on track or not so you know I don't I don't love some of the things that that have gone on uh, you know especially from a safety standpoint very disappointed in that but um, you know the rest of it's just not not for me to decide and therefore I'm gonna stay out of it okay and then um <clears throat> excuse me you just mentioned obviously you, you had to Phoenix and it's literally just you know you're one of four drivers competing for that championship so it's a little more maybe in a way freeing than knowing you need points or you need this or that to to advance so what would you just say that you know you and your team's mindset is heading to phoenix this weekend yeah i mean honestly our mindset's really my mindset's not any different than any other week i mean i i we're not we don't try to reinvent the wheel 
going out there just because it's the last race of the year. I mean, you certainly want to make sure you're putting in the proper amount of effort, but we, we always do that. You know, it's not like uh, I'm not going to have some magic button to push this week to make myself better. Uh, all I can do is take the experiences and the things that I've learned throughout the year leading up to right now and try to try to piece it together to have the best week of prep that we can possibly have, try to make sure that we're learning the things we need to learn on Friday. We have a longer practice this weekend than we typically have, uh, which is which is an interesting topic, I think. And then um, hope we learn the things we need to learn Friday, make good decisions Friday night, um, try to have a good qualifying effort Saturday. I don't think it matters where you start, but certainly your pit selection can have a big impact on the race. Um, so that would be great, you know, if we could have a good qualifying spot and and uh, get a good pit pick. That's gonna all these things are just hedging your bet for having a good day on Sunday. So uh, hopefully they all all go in our favor and and uh, you know see where we stack up come come race time. You mentioned learning something new. Is there at this point in your career? I mean, I'm sure you're always learning and you're trying new things, and especially with the next gen car and whatnot, but. You know what? What what is a takeaway from this season? Maybe that you learned about yourself, or or just about your career in general. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, they're, they're all they're all different, and as time goes on, you're getting older. You know, your, your mid twenties are are important years of your life, I think, to kind of figure out uh, and and navigate. I think for anybody, whether you're a race car driver or or not. Um, so yeah, I think I think things are changing, and and you're um, you're always evolving, and and certainly as a driver, I'm always trying to always trying to evolve there and, and try to be better. Um, this car has, has created things that, uh, had to kind of make me break some habits driving that, that I probably, uh, needed to break, uh, prior to, but nonetheless, it's really, you know, pushed us in some different ways that, that the other car, uh, didn't, uh, which is good. And, and I think that it's, that's completely fine it's the first car change that I've really had to go through. I know some other drivers, you know, went from the old car to the COT to the gen, whatever. And now we're, whatever we're on now, the next gen. So it's, um, for me, that's kind of that first transition. The first time I've had to, first time I've had to break some habits and do something new. Um, and, and sometimes that can be harder than coming in, not knowing, I think, you know, when you, when you, when you're learning something for the first time, you're almost, uh ignorance is bliss and in, in a lot of ways but when you've been around for a few years and you're having to to reteach yourself new things that that can be a difficult task um so yeah i've been uh, been interesting navigating that but i've enjoyed it and um granted it can be frustrating sometimes it's part of the grind and and uh we certainly embrace that Okay, should I ask you about college football? Because uh, I feel like your Bulldogs are doing pretty good this year. Yeah, you wouldn't be the only one today. A lot of people have. <laughs> I figured yeah. so. Yeah, I wish I could watch. Uh, we're, the Saturday afternoon is kind of busy, and I know they're playing at three thirty Eastern time or whatever. So probably not going to be able to watch much of it. But um, yeah, hope they hope they show up and play good. I'm I'm certainly nervous for them. Um, I, I it's uh. It's a big game. I'm, I'm excited. It's a big game. That game hasn't really been a huge deal the last few years, but I, I think it's great that Tennessee is a player. Um, I think that's exciting for college football fans and certainly the SEC uh, in general. Um, I'm really nervous, I guess. You know, I, I think that they're two of the top four teams, regardless of who wins or who loses. Uh, so I'm just a bit disappointed that, as bad as I hate to admit it, I think the loser is probably going to get going to get the short end on on the playoff thing mm -hmm. uh and i just don't think that game should decide their their seasons um regardless i mean if i was a tennessee fan and they lose i would be super mad because they've had a great year and likely they're not going to get in because of that um so yeah curious to see how they do that and whether or not they they let the actual top best four teams in or end up having to to be a little political about it but we'll see yeah, no, it's been fun. I got to do a couple of uh, sideline games for, and one, I was at Tennessee for one and I was like, coach Heifel, you really like, I don't know what you've done to the guys this year, but they built a really good program. Yeah. So they might have a little summer yeah. for the Bulldogs. <laughs> they have, it's exciting. I, I, yeah, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a good game. So we'll see.
All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, thanks. See you. See you.